So one thing that we like to do as long range shooters is actually chronograph our rifle and ammunition. This device right here is a chronograph and what it's going to do is measure the speed of my bullets coming out of the muzzle of my gun. It's a key variable I need for ballistic software, but it's also going to tell me some information about the quality of ammunition that I'm using and actually what the speed of the bullet is that I'm shooting. So I'm going to go ahead and chronograph about 10 rounds right here and it's going to spit out some information for me and we'll kind of go through what that information means after the fact. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the chronograph and explain the information that we get. The big one right here, the second one from the top is the average. So that's the average speed, obviously of the 10 rounds that I shot over the chronograph. In this case, it's 2,998 feet per second. That'll be the, the variable that I actually put in the ballistic software, right? So that, that is a key variable. I wanna know what my average is. I also have the min and max. So at the very top, you have the minimum velocity recorded. That's the slowest round. And then the max is obviously the fastest velocity uh, round that came out of that 10 round group. And then on the very bottom, we have some statistical terms that are describing the quality of ammunition. So the very bottom one is standard deviation. And what standard deviation is telling us, in this case, is 12.7. So what that's telling me, let's say that I chronograph 10 rounds and there were 10 rounds out of a lot of 400 rounds that I bought. So that's telling me that 68% of my rounds, my ammunition is going to shoot plus or minus 12.7 feet per second from the average. That's what standard deviation means. But that's only 68% of the, the, the rounds, right? If I go to standard deviations, that'll be 24 feet per second in this case. That's going to mean that 95% from the average are gonna shoot plus or minus 24 feet per second. So from the average, plus or minus 24 feet per second with two standard deviations, that's encompassing 95% of that data set. And then three standard deviations, it encompasses 99%. In this case, that would be plus or minus 36 feet per second. So that's how standard deviation breaks down. My extreme outliers, we refer to those as extreme spread. So in this case, the min and the max, the extreme spread is, is simply describing the difference between those two numbers. I have a 51 feet per second extreme spread in this case. So these two numbers are, are just statistical terms used to measure the quality of ammunition, right? But there's other things that we need to consider. So we wanna think about these numbers and like how we're actually shooting when we're shooting over the chronograph. It's not really good enough to shoot two rounds, three rounds over the chronograph, and then actually take these numbers serious when it comes to the standard deviation and extreme spread. 
It's just not enough information. We can start to get an idea of what the average is with a couple of rounds, but we're not really gonna get a picture of what the quality of ammunition is either. So when we wanna get a picture of the quality of ammunition, usually the more rounds, the better. If you can chrono 15, 20, sometimes even 30 rounds, if you have the means to do so, that's gonna give you a really good picture of what quality of ammunition that you're shooting or lack thereof. Also, other things to consider are the condition of my firearm. With newer guns, typically we expect average muzzle velocities to be a little bit lower and standard deviations to be a little bit higher within the first 200 rounds of that gun's life. So if this gun was brand new and I'm shooting the first 200 rounds or so here, these numbers are gonna be a little bit construed because of that, because everything is wearing in a little bit more rapidly with this new rifle, right? So consider that. Also consider if we're only chronographing a few rounds, maybe even these 10 round strings, if I get those extreme outliers in that data set, that might be construing the information as well. So we wanna think about how many data points, how much information we're collecting, and really trying to get a good picture of the quality of ammunition that we're shooting.